What is up, YouTube? All right. I know I haven't shown you all the barking tree frogs in a while. It has been a while. Um, so I just fed these. It's like 70 degrees in here tonight. Uh, 45 outside. Uh, you can see everybody packing it down. Oh, that one just jumped away. Um, one that shows the blue. Everybody putting these, uh, these are mealworms. All right, so using mealworms, we have lost frogs. We're gonna go over here now. My room's a, a nightmare because the temps are going lower. We got um, the, the queen palm, we got the fiddle leaf fig or whatever. There's a false bird of paradise, all the other stuff going on in here. Um, that was so everything doesn't freeze. Haven't even shown you all that yet. You'll see that. I'll bring that in a couple days. All right, so what we got going on over here, glass needs to be cleaned, the bird craps on everything. Um, the whole room needs to be cleaned again and I just cleaned it. It used to be this was the cleanest room in the house and now, uh, not so much. Um, so, I did not feed these guys yet. And other than trying to get the, them to eat a second, um, they all eat at the same pace. It's fairly simple. I just come in here like this and give them a little, oh wow, I didn't even give him a boop. So it's not very easy. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Step on this. Actually, you know, I know, don't eat that. Yeah, eat this. There you go. He is looking a little skinny in the butt, in my opinion. Some of them do have different metabolisms. Um, some hold weight better uh, than others. I would say we've lost quite a few because of situations like that, but competition's pretty low now. Uh, what I have doesn't really need to breed between itself uh, themselves. I need to get uh, outside genetics and start pairing. But we'll get to that. Um, it is extremely hard to feed and you hold the phone. So what I'm gonna do is continue feeding. Um, I just wanted to show y'all the frogs. I haven't brought them to you in a while. Um, fortunately the flash turned on with the phone, otherwise the flashlight would have been enough. I just wanted you all to see these guys again. Um, yeah, so temperatures are 70 tonight. Um, if it gets up to 94, they definitely will slowly perish. Um, I say this because our temps did hit 94. And the AC went out um, and I did lose a couple um, I also lost a bunch of my Japanese magic potion from in here which kind of stinks oh. anyway so you can see most of the bonsais this is where I keep zebras my good line zebras Oh wow, where are they? Where are all my babies? These are the ones I'm working on for the better lines, like that one in the bottom left right here. He'd even be taken out. But, uh, so my magic potion died when the temperature spiked, but I didn't lose rubber duckies. I didn't lose my purple ghost. I actually have white or the, the like, what's that word, or the name, um, I don't know, whatever I showed in a previous video, Taro, I don't know the name, but those have even gone so far to produce me a white 
more like a lemon. Yeah, it's not easy to open these things like this. Okay, so these are the ones I'm talking about. These were produced from my purple ghost. All I, and they're easy to separate, obviously. So I just kept moving them and moving them and now they're reproducing on their own very well. Um, let's see, here's the new ones that came from those. So I started seeing ones like this. <laughs> so I started moving those away from everybody. Unfortunately, I need uh, new containers to be able to continue projects and expanding. Uh, that will be happening before this winter is over. Um, I'm not selling anything. I've just been using it in my own enclosures. Things like the croc skinks eat a, a ton of isopods if you put them in there. Uh, we also put rosy red feeders, uh, give them 10 at a time, and they come out and eat those. Uh, they, they eat those quite a bit. Like They eat everything really well, to be honest. Crickets, mealworms, uh, the like I said, rosy red feeders and isopods. Uh, <clears throat> they haven't been coming out since it's been cold. I've got everything rearranged in a weird way. The goby I'm thinking about putting out in the pond. I want to use my aquarium, the 150 gallon for newts. Uh, they, because I know the newts will survive. That's what we got going on here. You can see all bird food. Uh, Christy actually plays with the bird with this. She breaks some of it off and he'll like play fetch with it. It's kind of funny. Um, so yeah, a lot of projects still going on. These guys are doing well. I haven't had any viable eggs for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on with that. They are coming out with the blue tint like uh, I would expect them rather than the white tent, but I'm not seeing any changes. Within a couple of days, they grow a fungus, so I need to uh, research more into that, but I'm also going to uh, redo a small tank that I've had set up for it specifically for that. I'm gonna redo that with some uh, reverse osmosis water or distilled. And start from the bottom up, plants and all. Uh, I already got plants in that tank, but yeah, so it's a nightmare in here right now. As you can see, it was going to be about just about these guys, but yeah, I guess I showed you everything going on. It's winter. Winter's like a hurricane around here. Got to keep the animals safe. So, all right, y'all like subscribe and uh, I'll bring you more content later. Thanks for watching.